this is Dr. Brian Taggy, and this is the ENT Minute. Today we're going to talk about chronic coughing and this is a common problem that many of my patients have and fortunately and unfortunately there are many etiologies or causes of the chronic coughing. One of the most useful pieces of information in the history is whether or not the cough is a dry cough or a productive cough and that that is is part of the initial conversation that we have in the office because that leads us to the potential causes of chronic coughing. Coughing can be extremely debilitating and socially incapacitating for many people and so it's a it's a big deal and let's explore some of the, some of the etiologies that I see and some of the other specialists see in the office. The first one I have listed is sinusitis and there are individuals that have sinusitis interestingly that don't know they have sinusitis. In fact it's kind of interesting because the opposite is also true some people come in, think they have sinusitis, and actually don't have sinusitis. And so an examination and oftentimes a scan, CT scan of the sinuses will help us to isolate that or identify that. The next is allergy. Now allergy can be a fairly simple one because most people will know that they have allergies, although the easy thing to do there is to get an allergy test, either through your ENT physician that does allergies or an allergist. Uh, dryness is common and remember in a previous video we talked about mouth breathing as a potential cause of throat mucus, a, a popular video that many people uh, explored. The mouth breathing can be a significant cause of the dry tickle and coughing or if you live in an environment that's dry that can be a potential cause of your chronic dry cough. Um, dirty air. Most recently where we live there are uh, particulates in the air from the fires and working in dirty dusty environments can coat the, the larynx, the, the vocal cords and cause a, a direct uh, irritation to that area that then stimulates or triggers that coughing sensation. And remember, coughing oftentimes is a, is, a, is a reflex, a normal reflex that the body has to get rid of the, the irritant or the, the toxin that may be present. And so coughing isn't necessarily a bad thing, but can be in response to toxins and dirty air and uh, allergens that may be in the air as well. Asthma. Now, asthma in and of itself can be a potential cause of the cough, uh, and this is common in children. This uh, chronic tickle or coughing can be caused by asthma, and so an evaluation with a pulmonary specialist, sometimes bronchoscopy and pulmonary function testing would be imperative there. The next, or sometimes the inhalers can also itself cause direct uh, co the contact of the inhaler in the throat can cause a focal irritation that then causes the coughing. And so I often tell my patients that use inhalers to make sure that the, you use the inhaler and then rinse with, with water afterwards. Uh, reflux. We've talked about this in previous videos as well. Reflux either silent or overt. The, the silent reflux can occur at nighttime, it's really common, that silent reflux. Irritation of the throat causes the inflammation. The inflammation may produce a little mucus that then induces the, the coughing or even the throat clearing. And so reflux is a, is a really common potential cause of your coughing. Others, uh, laryngeal lesions, and so if someone's smoking, Smokers can have a smoker's cough, but it can also produce lesions and polyps and tumors and cysts and sometimes even nodules that will produce the tickle or the coughing. Medications. <clears throat> uh, the, the most famous of the medications that can cause coughing are the anti, 
hypertensive or the blood pressure medications. And those can cause like lisinopril or Zestril. Uh, those are potential causes. And again, we mentioned the inhalers as medications causing coughing as well. Sometimes the drying medications like antidepressants can cause coughing. And so that might need to be looked into as well. Cough-induced coughing is interesting, and, and people understand this when we explain it to them that sometimes you have a cough or maybe you, you get a virus or have an infection or a cold, and you develop a cough. And then remember that coughing is a function of the vocal cords coming together. And when those vocal cords come together to produce that cough, that can produce the direct irritation that then will produce the next cough. And so sometimes you have to just stop the coughing with a, a strong prescription strength anti-tussive or anti-cough medication. Um, esophageal problems. I've had, I've had individuals suffer from uh, Zenker's diverticula or again the reflux is one or even this condition called eosinophilic esophagitis which can be diagnosed with a gastroenterologist via endoscopy. Uh, relatively common. Uh, uh, the last one is muscular tension. And in some individuals, there's a neurologic-like tick where there's tension in the muscles that then uh, perhaps can cause even anxiety. And that focus or the anxiety on the throat and the induction of the muscular tension can cause the coughing as well. And so sometimes you meet with a a voice therapist or a speech therapist can assist in those situations. So these are some of the etiologies. It requires a, a workup with an otolaryngologist, sometimes pulmonologist, sometimes gastroenterologist will help uh, in, in assisting to diagnose or identify the etiologies of coughing. And in subsequent videos, we'll talk about the treatments as we go along. So thanks for watching today. I hope you like and subscribe, and if you have any comments, leave those below. We'll see you next time.